It's Lindsay with the XX Girls. So if you guys have been following our posts lately, you'll know that I've been playing a lot of Diablo 3. Or trying to on the off chance that battle nuts up. Anyways, I love this game. It's been about 11 years since the last game came out, so this is a huge game for Blizzard with regards to the anticipation. Since Diablo was the final boss in the last two games, naturally he's found a way to resurrect himself in this one. The world stone was destroyed in Diablo 2, so the evils are out terrorizing everything again. So Diablo 3 pretty much follows you around while you kill all the evils and trap them in a black soul stone. Five lords of hell now reside within this stone. Adria, you must tell us the whole truth of this matter. You can choose from five different characters, and I went with a witch doctor. So the witch doctors are awesome. Not only their lore and the voodoo masks, but their abilities. You can summon demon dogs, toads, spiders, giant zombie things to fight for you while dropping acid rain and zombies to take out take them out that much faster. While the graphics are about five years behind, the cinematics for this game are not. They're incredible. I would spend the sixty dollars for this game for these cinematics. They're definitely worth watching. The game itself isn't very long, it's only about four acts, um, but when you're done with those acts, you unlock new difficulties and you can go in and redo them. And I don't mind it, because although the story's the same, the monsters are definitely not, and they get more ridiculous abilities as the difficulty gets higher. Why would you play the next difficulty? Because the level cap is 60, and you want to get there to get the insane gear that comes with um, the Inferno difficulty, which is the last one. We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent... The gameplay is your standard click to move, hit four buttons the whole game. Um, every level you get new abilities or rune upgrades for your current ones, which I love because I don't like to do the same thing for too long. One of the things I really liked about this game was that you could have an NPC okay, follower that would join you in your you quests again. and help you fight. Not a big fan of playing public games, mostly because the lag is really terrible and most of the people I've encountered haven't been much better. I was pretty partial to the Templar character, mostly because the things he yelled were running weren't horribly annoying, like the Enchantress and the um, Scoundrel. Also, if you set his abilities right, he can toss out heals to you, which is really helpful as you get going later on. Although most of my time was spent yelling at him to do his job. And then dying. There's one thing that I hate right now. It's the Arcane Enchanted Jailers. Their rare spawns have this crazy ability where they summon these little arcane sentries that, like, spin around like giant lasers, and they do massive damage if you get hit. And there's three. So, you have to attack the guy, all while trying not to get hit with the glowing spinning lasers of death. If that wasn't bad enough, they're jailers. So they trap you in a little prison for a few seconds, and you can't move or cast unless you're a wizard, which I'm not. So, if you happen to get trapped in a prison in the way of these sentries, you're done. So, I'd highly recommend this game. Uh, it's super addicting, and you'll play for hours, which actually might not be that good. At least it's summer. Well, that was my Diablo 3 review. Thanks for watching.